What's up, YouTube? Uh, my name's Jamal. This is my first Stay in that bitch. Stay in that bitch. Stay in that bitch. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. What's good, man? This your boy Molly checking in with another video. Wow. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hey man, I hope everybody doing good. I've been doing good. I've been working like crazy, make sure I'm straight. Let me comb my beard, bro. Whatever. Uh, make sure I'm make sure I'm straight though. But yeah, I hope everybody doing good. Um, Christmas coming up, all the good holidays and stuff. So I hope everybody gonna be blessed, and I hope you know everybody hustling to. Make sure they give their families what they need and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let me shoot it from right there because the interior too cold. <laughs> but uh, y'all see I'm in Black Sheba. Uh, for some reason, the battery dead. And I think I left um, I left these lights on or whatever. So, the battery's dead. But today, um, we're going to swap some stuff out. So, that's what we're going to swap out. Um, these are those cheaper, whatever the hell, these are, those are what's sold at AutoZone. Um, I think I got them for free anyway, that's why I installed them, but they, I mean, I don't like them. I feel like they're cheap. And they don't read accurate. I could be wrong, but you know what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure a lot of people got these in their in their in their cars. But um, I had it hooked up, and I was having problems with the lighting, like with the lights coming on, and uh, for some reason the temperature stopped reading. You know what I'm saying. The only gauge that worked was the oil pressure, and like I said, uh, I don't know if y'all saw in the other video but it had cut on you know the red or whatever and then i don't know it went off i never i don't know so anyway i spent some good money on some auto gauge some auto gauge gauges uh, i mean no not auto gauge auto meter gauges auto gauge is a brand that auto meter owns but i bought some good auto meter gauges so uh, let's go ahead and rock out with this. I'm gonna check in with y'all in a minute. see got the old ones out it was leaking oil i remember it was but <clears throat> we ain't gonna get rid of them uh i don't know i'm gonna see what's up i really want to build me like a, a engine stand that i could crank motors up on and make sure they good before i drop them in and stuff but yeah as you can see Nothing under there no more, so I'm about to go get the auto meter gauges and uh, I'll try to hurry up and get this project done before it get dark. All right, so this is everything I got the auto meter, copper tubing for the, your oil pressure. Um, like I said, it comes with the plastic like all gauges but i don't like using the plastic one so i want to use the copper one uh like i said this the oil pressure gauge the one that i got on clearance as you can see retail is 99 but it was a demo so i got it for 50. mechanical gauge 
um, this one, I took it out the, the box already. That's the temperature. Of course, got the lights. Come with some other little hardware, and then I got the mounting bracket right here. So, um, probably gonna place the mounting bracket. Then I'm gonna run everything and shit. Hopefully, see what we got. All right, man. I just want to check in with y'all. Um, so unfortunately, um, I'm just gonna have to buy the battery gauge and mount it in the middle or something so um, because I didn't want to continue to drill holes in the bottom of the little plastic deal so I'm just going to use the old mounting bracket but um, yeah I don't know if I want them right next to each other or this gap in the middle Okay, baby. So, um, I'm going to just use the old mount mounting bracket. Luckily, the gauges were the same size. So, it'll work. Um, so, it's probably gone. Yep, under there like that. Or, I'm going to just go ahead and put them next to each other. I don't know. Don't really matter to me as long as I can read them. My car ain't gonna be in no car shows no time soon anyway. So, uh, I'm gonna try to mount these today, get everything going. I see I took the radio out. Just trying to find different ways to mount it. Um, don't know if I'm gonna finish today because I got a guy who wants me to put a motor in his old school for him. A um, couple guy, guy that I ran into. I got like three people that want me to do a project car for him real quick. So that might be something that y'all see on the channel later on. Um, but we might jump back on this early in the morning so we can hurry up and get to the exhaust shop and just go from there. But uh i'm gonna check in with y'all in a minute hey what's good what's good checking in with y'all as you can see um as you can see i ended up going to get the votes uh gauge as well um the bracket i bought was was just for two gauges and I didn't want to drill any more holes in here so I just used the three gauge bracket that I got from the cheaper uh, those other gauges I had and ended up going to buy an auto meter gauge um right now I mean obviously you can see it's installed the volts gauge ain't hooked up but I'm about to hook that up right now and then I'm gonna do um uh, hook up my lights and stuff as well all right it's gonna be kind of hard to see and i should have shot this before i installed them but um in order to make your lights work you got three black ground wires and then you got uh three white power wires or whatever so i i um tied all my black my ground wires together ran it to one wire all my white wires together to a red wire unplug that into the fuse box and then i'm gonna ground the rest of it over there so in order to make your battery work you got a ground right here and then a power wire right here i'm not sure where i'm gonna hook that up at i know i'm gonna run it to the fuse box but I'm not sure where I'm gonna hook it up yet. Uh, so I'm gonna get my test light out and see what's up. But yeah, I'll check in with y'all in a minute. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Molly checking in. Um, so I went to upload the video of me installing the gauges and then I saw that I never closed out the video. So um, 
everything went okay with uh, the installation of the oil pressure and the temperature gauge. Um, the fuse that I ended up running the battery or voltage gauge to, I guess, wasn't a good fuse, so I do got to change that. Other than that, the gauges are ready to go. As you can see, I'm outside working on Molly G because uh, I snatched the intake manifold back off because it's leaking oil from the back of the intake where the block and the intake manifold meet. I guess I didn't use enough RTV sealing or whatever, so uh, I'm just resealing that, you know what I'm saying? So it's nothing major, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop this video. Um, I appreciate y'all staying locked in with me. Y'all like, share, subscribe, comment, thumbs up, thumbs down. Y'all check in with me. Bye.